Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play War of 40k Inquisitor Martyr in the next round and with no further ado before we go in one okay we have to talk to the captain then the prophecy I think is done and then we go into the chaos undivided wipers nest sensor readings confirm that the dark nexus has closed the clan worked I wonder if the Alpha Pariah survived the collapse of the anomaly. Her unique nature will protect her from the Immaterium. And don't forget that the machine spirit of the Martyr will follow the protocols and keep her safe. I know that she was not to blame, but her presence made our skins crawl. It might be better for her, out there. The unfortunate side effect of being a Pariah. What will become of her now? Only the Emperor knows. She might become our greatest ally against the Chaos. She could become the greatest ally of Chaos, and maybe nothing will happen. We will probably never know, Captain. I think so too. Maybe she ends up as a warp spawn. But, well, that I don't think so. Here we have the um, credits, so to say. I will not go through them at all, although that was a very, very nice music. I entered the Fall Fortress of Fabius Bile, who was drawing on the unholy powers of the Dark Nexus. I defeated his Plague Marines, faced an invading Drukhari party, also on the hunt for the Alpha Pariah and eventual for the Primogenitor himself. I was aided by the Alpha Pariah personally, Fabius Bile, or should I say, certainly one of his clones, that is what I was thinking, I couldn't believe that that was the real one, was successfully eliminated the Alpha Pariah original. The creation of Euthy Tiberius, now a fully evolved presence with almost unimaginable powers, assisted me greatly. I am aware of the implications of her abilities and her entire existence could have cost for the Imperium, but it is a moot question now as she has been lost in a warp, closing the Dark Nexus and sparing the entire Caligari sector from the potential birth of another Eye of Terror. So let's talk to her again. We received an urgent message while you were away. It was Inquisitor Goslar. Again. You don't sound delighted, Captain. Not that I blame you. Open the channel. Inquisitor, since your investigation has ended, you may serve the Imperium in more direct ways. The Holy Orders of the Inquisition need you in the Nereus system, urgently. As of today, we have lost contact with the Tempestus Citadel the main stronghold of the Caligari Conclave. This is a heavily fortified star fort, protected by Imperial battleships and other more exotic measures. This communication blackout is highly unusual. We suspect sinister reasons. For this reason, I strongly recommend that you travel to the Nereus system and offer assistance to the Tempestis Citadel. Should you experience any hostile activity, deal with it with extreme resolve. The Emperor protects. Will do, will do, will do, and that is... Okay, Chaos, Harbinger of Hate. Assist the Lord's process on Dragnaught Primaris. And, okay, let's then do that at first. And we should have a little deep breathing or breathing right here. So, in... Inquisitor's duty never ends. I've received a message from Inquisitor Gosla. The Holy Orders have lost contact with the Tempestus Citadel, the main stronghold of the Caligari Conclave. Gosla, uh, Gosla, sorry, doesn't believe in coincidence and can't, and I can't blame her. If a heavily fortified Inquisitorial fortress goes silent, it is usually a sign of dire times ahead of us. which are classified now. These silent, empty corridors were uncertain and then they are still uncertain. You are in the Bibliothesa District Inquisitor. Silence and a lack of social interference qualify as desirable parameters. It's always a pleasure to share old memories with you. So, I think the ranged combat is quite good because... Well, Yes, he has a point there, but I think the range combat plus the close combat is a very, very good combination here. Although I um, was a little misguided here, as you might have seen in the last episode, I switched our belt and we 
do not have um, any grenades anymore, which of course means um, no um, AoE damage whatsoever, but as you see our close combat constructs do very, very good here, and I feel, to be honest, that the ranged constructs, oh, the HP regeneration on our construct is very, very good as well, um, our big um, ranged con um, um, construct is very, very cool, and it does what it shall do, AoE damage, uh, not AoE damage, but damage to all them enemies around, that is very, very good. Well, I don't care right now, to be completely honest, right here. So let's talk to him. Thanks to the Emperor, you made it! There is no time to lose. The Data Vault is just a stone's throw away. Stone's throw? It does not compute. Never mind, Tech Priest. Lead the way, Archivist. Don't interfere. Just stay alive. Cool. On it go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I will not let that chest pass by. And that's cool. Do you see the little half regeneration on our constructs? That is very, very neat overall. So, <laughs> going through passive skills is very, very good overall. Or was it a um, skill that. I think it was not a equipment or module. I think that was really really um, a passive skill if I remember that correctly and that is very very great so finally it, at least in this mission I feel very very good with the Inquisitor um, because we well we get of course a little bit of damage here but overall our especially the close combat constructs do good and they not really tank, but take down the enemies quickly, quickly, quickly. And then, of course, we have the big ranged firing dude in the background. That, of course, is very, very great. Still, I think it is important to focus fire, especially, especially on them champions. And I, of course, have to hope that we don't run into too much AoE damage as of, for example, Flamers. Although now we are getting a little bit of damage. But our constructs are regenerated. That is one thing I was missing off before, to be honest. No sign of the traitors. Could be good news or dire news. Well, the archive might be compromised. You have served your purpose and will deal with this traitorous scum personally. The Emperor may be with you, Inquisitor. And then let's find out what is in here. Reach the data vault. We have another lackey for the false emperor. Your so called holy order is weak and negligent. Now prepare to die. I'm always ready for the final sacrifice, traitor. But this is not my day to die. It's yours. I need to get, of course, out of the way. I don't know whether we should go, oh my goodness, they are coming from all sides and of course that is the point to just get a, a little, little, little bit out of range.
So I would like to resummon the big close combat guy, but currently I now I can. And there it is. So as you see, our constructs did very, very good. I of course did not hold up much here, but they well did insanely good in my humble opinion. So the clue. Let's go after it. Um Bri Rothel, you and your warband shall receive a gift from me. You may participate in the forthcoming attack against the Temp Temptestus Citadel. Those hypocrites may look may lack wisdom, sorry there. But but they definitely don't lack resources. Bring only the same brothers you don't need the chained one, whatever that is, a demon I guess, and the others. Thanks to the Dark Gods, we have precise information about the defenses. You, um, Your main target will be the Brive Data Vault. The archive is well protected and failsafe, so don't waste time on explosive and other trivial methods. You see scrap code and the schematics I provided and leave immediately after you have finished. This attack is a distraction, nothing more. Ironically, penetrating their impenetrable defenses will be the easiest part of this raid, since we have a trustworthy ally in sight. Will, uh, when will these fools understand that a demon host or demon host is a double-edged sword? The Geller shields will be offline and nothing can interfere with the blood right. The astropath will be dealt with, so you will have more than enough time to accomplish your duty. I won't jeopardize the inferior's um, Eternum with an extraction resort on the only alternative. It may be messy, but you have no other option. The end of the long war is close, brother. Hey. Just as I feared. This attack was only a distraction before the full-scale invasion. You should return to the ship immediately. Alright, level up. And cleared it all out. Nice, 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 nice. We are good in timing. That is wonderful. And I am honestly so impressed by our constructs. Um, I'm not 100% certain whether it's were only the passive skills, but I think the combination of new stuff there really really worked out so we quickly go through the items we have received before we of course talk to retina um the usual stuff here 113 no 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 that is not worth it i think and the rest is not worth it as well all right so let's talk to her i have a pleasant surprise for you inquisitor you took your time, Inquisitor, but saving the Archive from the Black Legion intruders was a valuable contribution to our cause. Still, our work isn't over yet. While we were cleaning up the mess on the Tempesta Citadel, the whole Nereus system was hit by a full-scale invasion by the Black Legion. You will not leave until the presence of Chaos has been eradicated and their unholy influence has been cauterized. The Emperor protects. Well, will do. The whole system is under attack, but according to the intercepted Vox messages, Nereus 3 and Nereus 4 have taken the hardest hits. Where do we start, Inquisitor? Just mark me the bloodiest hellholes on the star map, Captain. We are going to war. Alright, alright, alright. And we have to talk to her again? Captain, you have important news for me, I presume. You have a very urgent message from the Caligari Conclave. A new assignment, maybe. With the Conclave, you can never know. Let me see it. Inquisitor, I have a crucial task for you. In the light of your previous achievements, I'm certain you are the most suitable agent for this assignment. We have re-established contact with the Triglav subsector. Due to severe warp surges, communication with the subsector has been sporadic at best for long decades, and we have now lost contact with entire systems. We have simply no idea what occurred on these worlds during a century of isolation. With the receding warp surges in the region, we have been able to begin to restore order, but this is a slow process and we have encountered certain anomalies. One of our less experienced agents has already entered the Aureus system, one of the regions that has failed to report back. We lost contact with the Inquisitorial retinue. We want you to find out what happened in that system. The astropathic relay station could be the perfect place to start the investigation. All right, baby. Will do. Will do. Captain, I want you to take me to the Aureus system in the Triglav subsector. Do you have any update on the situation over there? According to my astropath, there's been a cascade of fresh astropathic dispatches from the subsector. 
warnings of dissent and heresy, nightmares of abandoned void stations, empathic bursts of terror and relief. Apart from the Aurea system, which is still dark. We shouldn't waste our time then getting there. And that, guys, um, brings us to the end of this episode. In the next one, of course, guys, we will go on here. But for now, I really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.